In this lesson, we'll go through two examples where we relate density to crystal structure. The first question reads, aluminum crystallizes with a face-centered cubic unit cell. The radius of an aluminum atom is 143 picometers. Calculate the density of solid crystalline aluminum in grams per centimeters cubed. So right from the get-go, we've been given the radius of the aluminum atom and its crystal structure. Notice here it reads, face-centered cubic unit cell. We're being asked to find the density of the solid aluminum. The solution to this problem is based on the definition of density. And underneath, I've shown the formula for density where we have mass over volume. Since the unit cell has the physical properties of the entire crystal, we can find the mass and the volume of a single unit cell and use these to calculate the density. With that being said, let's start by finding the mass of the unit cell. I can do that by multiplying the molar mass of aluminum, shown here, with Avogadro's number. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll take 26.98 grams per mole and multiply it to Avogadro's number right here and make sure that one mole is at the top and this number times atoms is at the bottom. That way the units cancel out. So notice that this mole unit and this mole unit cancel out and we're left with grams per atoms. But remember, we're told that it's face-centered cubic unit cell. So if we take a look at this illustration, in a face-centered cubic configuration right here, you have four atoms. Take a look. We have four eighths of an atom right here, another four eighths of an atom at the bottom, that makes one atom, and three halves, which adds up to four. So I'll multiply the product of these by four atoms and then the atoms unit will cancel out. So I'll show that right here, and this cancels out the atoms unit, leaving us with exactly what we want, the mass. So let's use our calculator. Our answer should be four significant figures. Four times 26.98 times one, divided by everything at the bottom, which is Avogadro's number. This gives us 1.7920 times 10 to the power of negative 22. As I mentioned, this number should be rounded to four significant figures, but we won't do our rounding until the very end. So I'll just place a dot right here as a reminder that it should be four significant figures. Next, we have to calculate the edge length of the unit cell in meters, and that can be done from the atomic radius of aluminum. Now for a face-centered cubic structure, the length is two times the square root of two times the radius. Our radius was given at 143 picometers, and of course, if you're curious, you can actually come up with this formula. It's not hard to come up with. Of course, it relates concepts of geometry and algebra, but for simplicity's sake, we'll just use it the way it is. I'll change 143 picometers into meters, and the conversion ratio is one picometer is equal to 10 to the power of negative 12 meters. So with that being said, we have 143 picometers, multiply two, one picometer at the bottom, and 10 to the power of negative 12 meters at the top. These cancel out, and we'll take this number, 143 times 10 to the power of negative 12, and place it right into there. If you calculate this correctly, you should end up with a length that is equal to 4.045 times 10 to the power of negative 10 meters. And of course, we don't want to run into any rounding errors, so I'll just place a dot underneath this four as a reminder. Now we all know that within a cube, the volume of a cube is the length times the width times the height, which can be summarized as L raised to the power of three. And we already know the length, we just found it to be this value. So we can substitute that into there or raise this to the power of three. So now we have our volume. And remember, our volume is going to be this number with the units meters cubed. Also remember that 100 centimeters is equivalent to one meter. If I cube both of these, I now have the conversion factor, which I can use to make this into centimeters cubed. If you convert this into centimeters cubed using this conversion factor, you should end up with 6.6184 times 10 to the power of negative 23 centimeters cubed. We now have the volume. We also have the mass. So I'll divide 
the mass over this number and we should end up with our density. So let's find our mass again. It happened to be this number right here. I've placed it right underneath and we'll divide this by that. Remember, this has to be three significant figures because this is three significant figures and this is four. So we use the smaller of the two. Using our calculator, 1.7920 times 10 to the power of negative 22 divided by 6.6184 times 10 to the power of negative 23 gives us our density as 2.71. 2.71 grams per centimeters cubed. And there you have it. If you'd like to see the solution to question number two, make sure you watch question two of this series. We'll see you soon.